Hi, I am Zajita. Today let us learn about factors. In this session we are going to learn about definition of factors, methods to find factors, listing out factors and properties of factors. For this, let's play one game. The game is fire on the mountain, run, run, run. For fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Run in a circle and have some fun. Form a group of number three. When three are in one group, total six students are here. Six students, three are in one group, total two groups are formed. So, no students left over. Again, let's play. Fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number two. When two are in one group, Six students, two are in one group, so three groups are formed. No student left over. All students are in a group. Again play. Fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number four. When four are in one group, now here, two students are left over. Four students are in one group, two students are left over. Again let's play. Five on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number five. One, two, three, four, five are in one group. One student left over here. Again, let's play. Five on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number six. All six students in one group. So, zero students left over. Again, let's play. Five on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number one. Each student in one group. So, total six groups are formed here. Each one one in one group. Six students are, six groups are formed. Zero students left over. Again, let's play. Five on the mountain, run, run, run. Form a group of number seven. Is it possible with the six students, seven in a group? It is not possible. 8, 9, see more than 6 members are not possible because here it is 6 members are there, up to 6. We will not get more than that number. So what are the factors here? Factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. When you have 1 in a group, 0 students left over. When 2 in a group, 0 students left over. When 3 also 0 students left over. 4 and 5, when 5 and 0, one student left over, four also two student left over. So they are not factors, just they are divisors but not a factors. When six, yes, all six are in one group. So here, one, two, three, six are the factors. What is the factor here? Factor is a number which divides another number without leaving any remainder. Factor is a number which divides another number exactly. Exactly means without any Reminder. Yes. Next, let us see the methods to find the factors. What are the methods? We have two methods. One is multiplication method and another one is division method. We have two methods to find factors. Multiplication method. Let us take one number, 18. So, 1, 18. Is a, 1, how many times 18? 2, how many times we will get 18? That is, 1, 18 is a, Two nines are. Now let us take three table. Three six are eighteen. Four we don't have eighteen. Five we don't have. So let us go with the six. Six three is eighteen. You can observe here three and six. Six and three are the repeated factors. So we have to stop it here. Now we have to list out the factors. These are the factors. Factors of 18. Which are the factors here? 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Let us check it in another method. Another method is division method. In division method also, we will get the same factors. Let us take the same number. 18 divided by 1. We will get 18. 18 divided by 2. 9 is 18 divided by 3, 6, sir. right? Now, 4 and 5 we don't have. So, let us go with the 6. Now, here these are the factors which are repeated. 
let us stop it here now 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 these are the factors this is the way we, we can find factors in any one method now let us list out the factors for listing the factors for 6 already we have listed what are the factors 1 2 3 and 6 right for 18 what are the factors 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 see 3 6 6 3 is repeated then 2 9 is 18 1 18 is 18 let us write for 12 factors of 12 are 1 for every number 1 is a factor so 1 2 3 table we have 3 4 is 5 we don't have 12 6 yes See here, 3, 4, 0, 12, 4, 3, 0, 12 repeated. Then 2, 6, 0, then 1, 12, 0, 12. Let us write for 36. 1 is a factor. Yes, it is a even number. 2 is also a factor. Yes, it is divisible by 3 table also. 4 also 4, 9, 0, 5. We don't have 6. Yes, 6, 6, 0, 36. When it is repeated, we will stop. 6, 6, 0, 36. Then 7 and 8, we will not check. Directly, we will check with the 4. How many times? 9. 3. 12 times. 2. 18 times. Then 1. 36. Right? You can observe here, all are even numbers. So, 2 is a factor for every number. All even number. And 1 is a factor for every number. For all even numbers, 2 is also a factor. And highest factor is the number itself. Let us write for one odd number. Which is odd number? 1 is a factor. And 2 is not a factor because it is odd number. 3 is a 9. 1, 9 is a 9. If you list out factors in ascending order, you will not miss any factor. So, that you can take care when you are listing out the factors. Now, let us see the properties of factors. 1 is a factor of every number. That's what we have observed here. And then every non-zero number is a factor of itself. Every non-zero number is a factor of itself. The smallest factor of a number is 1. Smallest in all. And the largest factor of a number is number itself. 18. 18 is a factor. 12. 12 is a factor. Every factor of a non-zero number is less than or equal to that number. All these are lesser or equal to this number. Not more than that. Not more than 6 we will get. So not more than that. Less than or equal to this number. Factors are finite. These are the properties of factors. Yes. We have seen now. Definition. That is a factor is a number. Which divides the given number. Exactly. In the sense without leaving any remainder. We found two methods. Multiplication and division method. We listed out factors in ascending order and properties of factors. Yes, I hope it is clear with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.